Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my money-making morning routine that I'm using this year in 2022 and that I've been using for about the last two years or so. So since about 2018, I've tested countless different morning routines. I've tried every single hack in the book, everything from waking up at 5 a.m. to journaling, to going to the gym for two hours, to eating a bunch of nootropics and meditating for 30 minutes to 40 minutes, to taking ice cold showers and saying my affirmations out loud and staring at my vision board. So I've tried so many different morning routines and different hacks to try and be productive. And most of these things just didn't work out for me. And the reason it didn't work was because by the time I got to work, I was already exhausted, half my day was gone, and I barely had any energy left because I spent so much time and energy on my morning routine. So at the start of 2020, I just one day sat down and thought to myself and I asked myself, what is the number one thing that I'm trying to achieve every morning? Why am I doing all this stuff? Why am I going through the trouble of doing all these things? And the answer was, to be honest, was to make a bunch of money. I wanna wake up and in the first few hours of my day, make as much money as possible. And so I took a look at the long list of things that I was doing every morning with my old morning routine and asked myself, which one of these things are helping me make money? And 80% of the things on that list were not helping me make money. So I removed almost everything and went from about 10 different things on my morning routine list to three. And these three things, my new morning routine, I call it my golden hour of money because in just one hour a day in my morning, my routine, it helps me actually make money in my business. And if I go out and just do this one morning routine, I can feel good about the rest of my day. So if you stick around and you watch this video until the end, you're gonna see what this golden hour of money morning routine is and how to apply this and use it for yourself. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can steal this. Now, before we begin, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out, also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this as well. And with that said, let's hop into my computer. I'm gonna show you this morning routine right now. All right, so on the screen here, I have my golden hour of money morning routine broken down step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna show you examples as well. And then you can take this and create your own golden hour of money too, if you wanna copy what I'm doing. So real quick, the reason I call it this is this morning routine. If I did nothing else but this golden hour of money every day, I'd still pull in six, multiple six figures a year in income. So today is the 28th, it's about 2 p.m. as I'm filming this, I took a screenshot from my shopping cart and you can see today we brought in $2,941 in sales so far and we still have about half the day to go. So if I did nothing else but this morning routine here that I'm gonna show you, it's very powerful, right? This is what helps me make 1K plus a day on average just from doing this routine. So I'm gonna break it down step by step. I wanna show you examples where I can and show you how to do this golden hour money routine for yourself. So first thing, and this is kind of a, a bonus, but I ask myself a question before bed every night and this sets me up for a good morning routine. So what you wanna ask yourself, and this might sound woo woo or fluffy, but it works. Try it out and you're gonna see it works. So what I do is I ask myself a question that I want the answer to the next morning, right? If you ask yourself this before bed, your subconscious goes to work while you're sleeping. And a lot of times you're gonna wake up with the answer. So a question that I very commonly ask myself before I go to bed is, what do I wanna write about tomorrow? Okay, you're not gonna save, try to save the world with this question, right? Um, you don't wanna say like, how do I save the world? Um, it has to be something that is attainable. So if I just ask myself this before bed, what do I wanna write about tomorrow? Oftentimes I'll wake up with ideas of what to write about, right? I don't know if it's just coincidence or not, but I've been doing this for the last eight, nine months or so. And I almost always wake up with the answer to what I asked myself before bed. So this is a quick one, it takes about one minute, just like as you're hopping into bed, like, hey, what do I wanna figure, what's a problem I wanna solve tomorrow that I wanna wake up with the answer to, uh, or a question that you want the answer to. So this is one that I almost like 80% of the time I'm asking, hey, what do I want, what do I wanna write my email about tomorrow, my social posts, and I'll wake up with ideas for that. So this is a little tip, a little bonus tip before your morning routine starts. Let's get into the actual morning routine itself. So first thing I do right when I wake up is I just you know, wash, wash my face, uh, take a piss, brush my teeth, all the normal stuff when you're waking up. I go to my kitchen, I turn on the espresso machine, I make a couple shots, and as I'm doing that, I do a quick five minute stretch. Now, this is just to get my, my blood and my brain flowing. I used to wake up and go straight to, to LA Fitness and work out for like an hour and a half, two hours. Now, that's great and all, like working out and, and being physically fit, but I do that later in my day now after my morning routine and after most of my day is over. And the reason is it used to take up like two and a half hours, right? Just getting ready, driving to the gym, washing up, coming back, like sitting in traffic sometimes, uh, if there's like rush hour traffic, just going through that entire process is a lot of time, right? Two, two and a half hours or so. 
So I was wasting really good moments of my day. Like in the morning, I'm very energized. I have a ton of um, clarity and flow in the morning. And I ruined that if I just put it into um, working out, right? On two and a half hours of working out. Now you might be different. You might start with working out. That's totally fine. Do what works for you. But I found that I have my most creative juices and I get my most ideas and my most productivity in the morning. So I don't want to waste that on just working out. So I stretch, I just do a very basic stretch, um, you know, just reaching over, stretching my arm, stretching my legs, bending over, um, doing, I don't know what they're called, right? Just splitting my legs like this, like in a V and reaching over. So very basic stretch, nothing crazy, just five minutes of this. And this really gets my blood and my brain flowing. After that, I go through a bit of journaling, I guess you could call it. Um, I just call it my morning thoughts. And this takes about 10 minutes. So during this 10 minutes, I have a Google Doc. You can see at the top of my screen here, it just says GHM. This is my personal golden hour of money. Uh, I'm not gonna open it because it has a lot of personal stuff in there, but I have an entire doc and I just open that doc up every day and I write my morning thoughts into that. So you can do this on a physical plan or you can do this on a Google doc like I do, it doesn't really matter, uh, but I'm giving you the framework for what I'm filling out here. So this takes about 10 minutes and I'm answering four main questions, right? What's the number one thing I need to get done today? What's the number one problem I'm trying to solve today? What's been weighing on me or zapping my energy, right? And what's been energizing or exciting to me, okay? So an example, this is one that I um, wrote on Monday. So it says, today I need to launch my new cash windfall campaigns course. It bugs me that 30% of the people who join my Facebook group wanna sell their own offers and I didn't have anything for them, right? So I, right here I talked about the number one thing I need to get done today and the problem I'm trying to solve and what's been weighing on me, right? It weighs on me that there's people joining my community and I don't have any solutions for them. Uh, this course is gonna change that. It's been exciting building this course and getting feedback from beta members. So this is what's been exciting and energizing to me. So you can see here, this <laughs> didn't even take 10 minutes. Sometimes it takes me a lot less than 10 minutes. This just took me probably about one to two minutes to write this out. It doesn't need to be long. It just needs to, I try to answer these four questions, right? As short or as long as that needs to be. Most of the time, it's just like a paragraph or two paragraphs long, just like this. So it doesn't need to be long, just getting your thoughts out on paper. And this also takes all of the clutter in my brain and puts it down uh, on a Google Doc so I can feel better about going out and, and going through my day. This also takes all the thoughts that are in my head and ideas that I might have and just puts it on paper so I don't have to keep it there and try to remember everything. So this has been very useful for me. Some of my best product and service ideas and promotional ideas come from doing this exercise here, right? Just getting my thoughts down on paper. So that's the second piece of my morning routine. The third piece or the third step is the most important part and probably the part that makes the most amount of money, the part that actually makes money. And this is my morning writing. So this takes 45 minutes and it's broken down into three different parts. So the first part is the actual writing. This takes the longest, right? 35 minutes, I turn a timer on, I use an app called Be Focused Pro and I'm writing a daily email. If you are on my list, you see these daily emails. If you're not, you can go to seananthony.co and you can opt in there. So I spent 35 minutes writing this daily email. After the timer goes off, I put down my typing fingers and I spend five minutes doing a quick edit of the email. So nothing crazy, I just try to make sure the grammar's on point, I try to make sure that it flows all right. And most of the time I'm, I'm removing some things that don't need to be there, right? Removing fluff. And once I'm happy with it, usually it takes about five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes or so, I send it out, I grab like a picture of myself or I grab a picture from Jackie's profile and I send it to my VA to post on social media. So this is very powerful because I'm taking one piece of content, right, my email, and I'm sending it to my VA and she's reposting it to my YouTube channel on the community tab, you guys have probably seen this, and then also my Facebook group. So now I turn one piece of content into three. And what I also do there in the mornings is I'll turn the email into three different tweets and I'll schedule that out as well. So I spent about five minutes finding a picture, sending it to my virtual assistant, and she reposts it on social media at certain times in the day. Now, if you're wondering where I write my emails and where I do my writing, you can just do it in a Google Doc if you want, but what I used to use all the time is this app called Hemingway. So I have it open here on the screen, and this Hemingway editor, what it allows you to do, I try to get my grade level uh, at fifth grade or below. That just means it's easy to read and it's not complicated to go through. So on average, I'm between three and fifth grade level here. And it also shows you the word count, how long it is. Not that that's super important, but what I used to do is just type in here, right? So I used to turn off the editor. This is a free app, by the way. And you know, you can type whatever. 
And then when I go to edit, it tells me if I need to change things around. This is like how I used to do my five to 10 minute editing here. So if I need to remove words that were confusing or too long, I would do that. I would break up sentences uh, to make it easier to read. So this is where I used to do a lot of my editing. Now I'm just lazy. I don't want to copy and paste everything into here because I've been doing this for so long. So now I just keep it in a Google doc or I go to this tool called wordcounter.net um, or I just type it directly in my email service provider, which is active campaign. So you can write it anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter if you're going to choose to do an email, just like me. If you want to build your email list, I use active campaign if you're wondering. So today's email, or this is, yeah, this is today's email. You can see it's not very long. Uh, this is a testimonial that I have for this, this product that I just launched the cash windfall campaigns. And it was from a guy named Eddie, really good guy that I met on Twitter. And he just sent me this testimonial. So all I did was turn this testimonial into an email. And this took me less than 35 minutes, maybe 10 minutes to write this. You can see it's not very long. It just talks about his experience. And then I link to one of my paid offerings here, which is the, the cash windfall campaigns course. So this is my golden hour of money email today. And it took me a lot less than 45 minutes to send that out. And it resulted in quite a bit of sales today so far, right? $2,941. So this morning routine, right? These three steps with that one bonus step, you ask your, yourself a question before bed that you want to wake up with the answer to. This is one that I always ask here. Stretch for five minutes. Just get the, your blood and brain flowing. Morning thoughts, get that down on paper so it's not stuck in your head. I spend 10 minutes doing this, answering these four questions. And then I spend 45 minutes doing my daily writing. And like I just showed you here, this is how I actually make money is I'm sending out an email to my list and then I have an offer here, right? A paid product or a service or a course or something that people can buy from that email. So this is my golden hour of money. Very simple. It's simple on purpose because I used to do things that were very complicated and took a long time and a lot of energy to do, but I've been doing this since early 2020, January, February, 2020. So about two years or so I've been doing this routine and it's worked like crazy for me. So um, this is a routine that helps me make 1K plus a day. It helps me to bring in these sales. If I did nothing else but this morning routine, I could still make six, multiple six figures a year. That's how powerful this routine is. So um, go ahead, copy this for yourself, adjust it. If you want to work out in the morning or if there's something else that you want to move around and do here, that's totally fine. This is just what I do. And if you want to model after what I do, this is what I do here. Now, if you want to see any of my paid and free offerings, I have that all in the description below, as well as a way for you to join my email list too. So if you want to see any of the, the free or paid offers that I have, just go to the description below this video and you can check it out there. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, if you got value out of it, give it a like, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.